The central and southern states are no strangers to the power of Mother Nature in the springtime. Tornadoes most commonly occur when we see winter slip away and warmer temperatures make their return. On average, the United States sees quite a bit of tornadoes with the greatest amount of touchdowns happening anywhere from May to June as those warmer temperatures make their way into the central and southern states. In May, we usually see 276 touchdowns and June just a little bit shy of that at 243. But we're no stranger to tornadic activity throughout the United States, even into December where we see 24 confirmed tornadoes touched down on average across the United States. And there is a criteria that we follow as meteorologists to kind of rank these tornadoes. Now the National Weather Service, they tend to go out and they will observe the damage after a tornado has passed because we can't actually determine how strong the winds are inside the tornado when it's actually happening. We take a look at the damage that it causes. With an EF0 tornado, well, that's where we see tree limbs broken and some trees uprooted as well. With an EF1 tornado, winds are 86 to 110 miles per hour with moderate damage, roofs stripped of their shingles and windows broken. With an EF2 tornado, we see winds of 111 to 135 miles per hour. Significant damage, roofs can be torn off of well-constructed houses and homes can be shifted off their foundations. With an EF3 tornado, we see winds of 136 to 165 miles per hour with severe damage. Sections of homes completely destroyed. Trains can be overturned and trees can be stripped of their bark. With an EF4 tornado, winds with 166 to 200 miles per hour is definitely a possibility with devastating damage possible. Well-built homes severely damaged, if not even blown completely off of their foundations. With an EF5 tornado, well, that's where winds are over 200 miles per hour. Incredible damage is seen with these tornadoes. Homes leveled and swept away. Cars are thrown about in the storm like missiles and even high rise buildings can see structural damage. In the event of a tornado warning, it's always important to seek shelter immediately in an interior room or a bathroom with an ideal place being in the basement. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Josh Kozark.